Hey there, civic students. I'm coming to you today on this wonderfully lovely rainy day. It's Thursday, May the 21st. I'm here to offer you some makeup opportunities for credit. So a lot of students have been asking since we've been out for this whole isolation, quarantine, out of school, COVID-19 thing, what about, you know, the assignments that have been locked in Canvas? Well, I'm not going to go back and unlock them, but I can give you an opportunity to do some makeup work that deals with the content that you may have missed or content that you may really like. So from now until June the 1st, I'll have this on our homepage. So this is your opportunity for makeup work module. And we'll click right here in just a second. But what you'll do, of course, is you can complete any or all of the assignments for credit. We'll talk about that in just a second. But no exceptions. These makeup work assignments have to be turned in by Monday, June the 1st at 11.59 p.m. So that gives you about a week and a half to do these to get started on them, along with next week's work, too, on personal financial literacy. So if you haven't done the work, not only will you need to do the makeup work, but also uh, do the work on per personal financial literacy. This is not an opportunity to make up that work. Um, you still need to do the personal financial literacy. There's no makeup work for the personal financial literacy. This is makeup work for anything that you've missed on the judicial branch specifically. So let's take a look at our assignments by clicking on the module link. So you click on that and scroll all the way down, and here you'll see the module. So here you see our module for personal financial literacy. Don't get too excited. There'll be stuff there. I just haven't uploaded it yet. I still have a little bit of time for that before Monday on the 25th. But I want to focus on, um, in this video, how to complete any makeup assignments. Again, I'm going to stress the due date again, Monday, June the 1st at 11.59 p.m. Got to have that. So I'm going to click on the directions page. That's a page, not an assignment. The video you're watching is going to be right here um, below. There we go. And this particular module is for students who have either, number one, missed assignments during remote learning and want credit for completion. So let's say, for example, that you didn't really get started too strongly. You missed the sources and types of law assignment, or you missed the civil and criminal law assignments. Uh, you didn't do the thesis statement. You didn't do the um, Google slide for a Supreme Court case. Then this is, of course, for you to make that up. Or it's also for any student who just wants to do more stuff. Maybe just for, dare I say it, fun. Yes, like me. Um, or Thomas Jefferson would do. So if you would like just to do these for further enrichment of learning, you are welcome to do these as well. And you can, com can complete any or all of the assignments in this module. Even if you, can, if you complete some of the assignments, you can still get credit. So let's take a look at the directions. There are three assignment pages in the modules. And these first two, chapters 15 and 16, and chapter 8, cover sources and types of law, and specifically criminal and civil law. And with those two assignments, there are section reviews for you to do, and we'll take a look at that. And then there's one assignment on Supreme Court cases. There are 15 Supreme Court cases that you can do a little bit of research on to learn about. Now, each two section reviews you can com you complete with chapters 15, 16, and 8 with quality submissions counts as one makeup assignment. And you can choose to mix and match any of them. Maybe you want to do one on sources of law from chapter 15 and one from chapter 8 on criminal laws. Perfectly fine. So anything that you've missed um, in power school. But let's say, for example, that you miss the assignment on sources of law, but you would really like to go back to criminal law because you enjoyed that. Can you do that and make that up? Sure. That's perfectly fine. Any of these assignments would make up for the judicial branch only work that we've done since we've been out uh, in, in March. And again, I can't stress enough, when is the due date? You can see it on your screen, Monday, June 1st at 11.59 p.m., no exceptions. I want to also reiterate the fact that, as always, these are individual assignments, no copying and pasting from the internet. You should complete these in your own words and not giving or receiving answers with peers as always. If you have questions, send me an email. I'm sitting around all day waiting for that email to ping so I can really talk to somebody. Um, one of my students or colleagues through email, so please email me if you have questions. So this is the directions page. Let's take a look at our three makeup assignment pages. Okay, so let's take a look at option one makeup if you wanted to do something regarding the law. 
So what you do is you open this and you can find chapter 15 text here by clicking this and it'll open up a PDF of a textbook uh, similar to ours. Ours is so old it really is difficult to find but this is the same content information for chapter 15 and they have different sections that you can work on. Then chapter 16 can be found here as well so you can pull up these two PDF, here it comes, PDFs of the uh, two chapters that we're working with in this first assignment. And then you are going to open the Google Doc. Please make yourself a copy so that you don't lose it. So this is chapters 15 and 16. It's basically the section reviews plus a few other questions. So it's very similar to those. Not exact, but it's very similar. So these are the questions I want you to tackle for chapter 15. So what this means is that here you can replace one um, assignment for two section reviews. So if you complete chapter 15 section 1 and two reviews, then you can earn one completion grade in Power School. There are six total reviews that are in chapter 15 and 16. There's three from chapter 15 and three sections in chapter 16. So if you put those together, let's see, that, that, and that, that gives you, oh look, a total of three assignments that you can make up just from chapters 15 and 16. Now, you don't have to do all of these in order. You can do a combination. Maybe you want to do chapter 15, section 1, and then maybe chapter 16, section 1. Maybe you just like criminal and civil cases. You can do just these two assignments, and that would equal one assignment. So that's up to you about any uh, combinations that you like, or of course you're welcome to do all six section reviews for a total of three make-up assignments just for this particular assignment, option number one with the law. So again, this is option one with chapters 15 and 16. You can do any combination of two, four, or six section reviews, all six of them for up to three completion credits. But remember, this is all due by Monday, June the 1st at 11.59 p.m. just for the makeup assignments. Let's go back to modules and take a look at option number two. Option number two is the judicial branch in general, so that gets us a little bit more into um, other issues, ideas with the Supreme Court and such, so you can click on the chapter eight text with the judicial branch, okay, here. And so that's the textbook. And you can open the Google Doc here for yourself. Same thing, this has got the directions right here, make yourself a copy, but this will give you four total section reviews. So if you do all four, you can earn two um, completion credits in Power School. So this would really, these two assignments, just doing the section reviews for chapters 15, 16, and 8, could give you up to five replacement grades or makeup grades. So I thought that was a pretty good deal there. And it still focuses on the content that we've covered. So here's your chapter 8 textbook link again. And then you have your section reviews here that you'll answer. Any two or four of them combinations will earn you uh, a credit. So that's option two. Going back to modules once again for our third and final opportunity for makeup, we have Supreme Court cases. Now this one is a, uh, is a Google Doc. And when you pull that up, you'll see that there are 15 court cases. Now this is another two completion assignments to do the whole thing. So that means with the section reviews from chapters 15, 16, and 8, you can earn up to five completion credits plus the Supreme Court cases. So in total, you have an opportunity to make up seven um, assignments if you haven't done those. Now, if you do more, you don't get extra. You can only earn up to 10 points, of course, on your semester, um, so, yeah, semester two um, average. So keep that in mind, and you can just do these for fun if you would like. So the directions are here at the beginning of the assignment, and you see what a quality assignment means. It means you've got to do this individually and attempt to do it accurately and answer all parts of the questions. I also have a really helpful website, um, the OEAs.org is really great. And here are the 15 court cases that we've done. Um, you need to do for each of them the date of the court decision, the constitutional issue or question, the background of the case, about two sentences of, of what it's about in general, the court's decision in one to two sentences, and the significance of the case for citizens today in one to two sentences. You have a total of 15 uh, Supreme Court cases listed. 
If you only do eight, then you can earn one completion assignment. So maybe you can pick your favorite eight if you really just need to make up one assignment. Let's say you didn't do the thesis assignment for the Supreme Court cases. You could go back and do eight of these and you can make up for that. So that's totally up to you if you want to do all 15 for two completion credits or just eight for one. Totally up to you to decide. So again, that's our opportunity to make up missed assignments and just remediation for fun. So if you have some missing assignments in PowerSchool, if you have some incompletes in PowerSchool, you can go through these and you can work on some of these or all of these, even just doing it for fun. But please let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to say the due date again, Monday, June the 1st at 11.59 p.m. You have to have these assignments completed. Of course, you know, if you're looking at the screen now and you see the civics assignments for May the 25th through the 31st, I hope you'll understand that those assignments are going to be due May the 31st at 11.59 p.m. So that means if you've done some, if you haven't done the work that you were supposed to for the judicial branch, you have about a week, uh, a little over a week, to make up the work and do the work for personal financial literacy as well. If you have any questions, please, please, please don't hesitate to send me an email. And of course, on our home screen, this is going to be here through June the 1st. But I have to have the assignments by when? That's right, June the 1st at 11.59 p.m. or these assignments will lock. But this is an opportunity for you to go back and earn some of the credit that maybe you've missed. So listen, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, a great weekend, but please let me know if you have any questions about our opportunity for makeup work here.